Hello and welcome everyone to the fan stands. One of the all time best Euros have just finished. Italy has won the trophy with argu arguably being the best side of this tournament. While England have just extended their 55 year wait for a major trophy. So here we take a look at the best players from every country in this Euros. Italy, Jorginho. What a better way to start than with the champions. Italy had nearly the whole squad performing. It was quite a hard pick from Italy. Honorable mentions to the player of the tournament, Donnarumma, who was brilliant alongside their centre-back pairings of Benucci and Cellini. But I've gone with Jorginho. He was brilliant at the heart of midfield for Italy and after winning both Champions League and Euros, it is just hard to look past him for the Ballon d'Or this season. Switzerland, Jan Sommer. This summer's swing sensation, Jan Sommer was superb between the sticks for Switzerland. Helping his side to a famous win versus France, in which he saved the decisive penalty kick of Kylian Mbappe, which helped his side to reach to the quarterfinals, in which he was also brilliant. With 10 saves versus Spain, he just became an internet sensation. Turkey, Ugar Khan Jakir. The pre tournament dark horses crumbled in this tournament as, as, as if it was Pakistani batting middle order, i.e., showed zero guts. It has to be the shortstopper Ugar Khan Jakir as the best player. Because if it wasn't for him, it could have been a lot worse. Wales, Gareth Bale. It just has to be Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale, being the best player from Wales, was influential in his side's win over Turkey, which in confirmed knockouts for their side. Belgium, Romelu Lukaku. Belgium's golden generation once again failed to deliver and stated they were out after a quarter-final defeat to Italy. This golden generation may perhaps be running out of time. But one player who remained in his prime was Romelu Lukaku, who scored four goals in five appearances for Belgium this season. Denmark, Joachim Mahel. Denmark was one of the stories of this Euros, from the, from the tragic events of the opening day to the semi-final berth. Their players, including Hoibier, Kasper Schmeichel and Damsgaard were brilliant. But their flying fullback, Joachim Mahel, was everywhere on occasion rampaging up the flanks and finishing the Euros with two goals and an assist. Finland, Lucas Radicki. Tournament debutants, Finland just fell short of the qualification for the knockouts. Their best player was Baro Leverkusen's goalie, Lucas Radicki. Russia, Alexei Miranchuk. Russia could not produce the heroic from three years prior, but and started to the bottom of Group B. Their best moment was produced by Miranchuk, who scored a delightful winner against Finland. Netherlands, Denzel Demfries. He may have the he, he may have a strange name, but he was brilliant for, ne for Netherlands this tournament. As a wing back was powering forwards in train like fashion. No wonders why Everton and Bayern Munich are showing interest in him. But Denzel Demfries. What sort of a name that is? Austria, David Alaba. Just like Wales, Austria's best player was Austria's best player. Centre back, full back, and midfield, you name it, and he'll play. Absolutely brilliant. North Macedonia stole Dimitrovski. North Macedonia had as much chance of qualification to the next round in this Euros as Harris Rowe falling with his brain. 0%. Their goalkeeper Dmitrovski was the best player. Ukraine, Andrei Yarmilenko. Often seen warming the bench at West Ham, the winger had a brilliant Euro 2020. Two goals, two assists, and now within the reach of Shevchenko's all time record for Ukraine. England, Raheem Sterling. Three goals, one assist, 100% of England's goals in this tournament in the group stage. Opener versus the Germany, help cause own goal versus Denmark. Won, won the game-winning penalty versus Denmark and a potential diving gold medalist in the Olympics. Well, you can just, just, just cut the last one. Raheem Sterling had a brilliant campaign and he's been the best player of England in this Euros. Croatia, Ivan Perisic. The ever-aging squad could not produce the heroics from three years prior. Their old guard, Ivan Perisic, providing three goals, was their standout performer. Scotland, Andy Robertson. Another one of those best players being the best player, Andy Robertson was the best player from Scotland. 
and he has to be the best player in this Euros as well. Czech Republic, Patrick Schick. No other player have more goals in this tournament than Patrick Schick with five goals. And of course that outrageous goal against Scotland, which was absolutely phenomenal. Sweden, Emil Forsberg. In the absence of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Sweden's inspiration came from Forsberg, who scored a winning penalty versus Slovakia before netting two goals versus Poland. Spain, Petri. This boy is just some talent, I must say. The best young player award winner was Spain's best player, who just missed one minute of the Spain's whole campaign. Absolutely brilliant throughout this tournament. Slovakia, Milan, Skiniar. Already linked with a move with the Premier League, Skinia was superb in Slovakia's sole victory with making 10 clearances, 3 interceptions and the delightful winner. Poland, Robert Lewandowski. Tried his best to drag Poland through but was let down by those around him, similarly like a barbarism. That was, that was a strange comparison. It was three goals in three fixtures for the best number nine in the world. France, Paul Pogba. Pogba simply ran the show for the world champions. Their early exit was a shock to the world, but Pogba carried the team through, through the group stages. Germany, Robin Gosens. Germany had a strange campaign, from minutes away from the elimination to finishing second in the group stage to another elimination in the round of 16 against England. Robin Gosens was Germany's best player in this tournament. He scored two goals versus the defending champions, which was the only victory for Germany in this campaign. Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ah, Cristiano Ronaldo, who else? The Golden Boot winner, five goals in the tournament, then braces against Hungary and France, but still could not let his team through. But he was absolutely phenomenal in the games he played. And with only four games he played, he won the Golden Boot. That shows the greatness of the guy. GOAT Hungary, Roland Solai. To be honest, Hungary had as much chance of going through to the knockouts as me having a, an acne free face. No chance. But they still punched above their weight with nearly outing either Germany or Portugal. Their forward, Roland Solai, was the main man with two assists. That's the end of the video. Please like, share, subscribe to the fan stands and we'll see you in a while.